Welcome back guys to another video with me, Teacher Alex, here at Alex Worldwide. So we're just walking in a classic English town today, Weymouth, and we're going to do a little bit of a Q&A to help you with your English skills. Let's go. Okay, so I've got my good friend, Teacher Emma here behind the camera, who's going to ask me these questions. So Emma, what's question number one? What's your advice for English learners? That's a really good question. So I would split this advice into three areas. So first of all, you need to immerse yourself in the language. Now I say this all the time, but it really is the best advice. So you need to make sure that you are watching as much English TV, English movies, listening to English podcasts, radio, music, reading English as much as possible, and just totally absorbing that language. This will make you become so much more comfortable with hearing it and therefore using it. My second piece of advice is find a good trained professional teacher who's going to be able to help you. Take lessons with them and practice speaking with them. This is going to make you accountable to that teacher and really push you forward with your skills. And then advice number three is make sure that you set achievable goals. Often when people start learning a language, they want to become fluent straight away, but that is just not going to happen. So make sure you set yourself small, achievable goals. For example, today I want to learn five new words, or I want to try and have one conversation in English today. By setting these small goals, you will be able to see yourself progress. And remember, don't put too much pressure on yourself. You're not going to become fluent in a few weeks or even a month. It takes time. So don't put pressure on yourself. Be patient and you will achieve it. So I would say that is my advice for English learners. Yeah. Okay, Emma, what is question two? What should I do if I understand everything, but I can't speak English? This is a super common question and fear that people have in English. So you can understand everything. You can listen to a film, you can listen to a podcast and you understand everything, but you just can't seem to speak it. Now, the reason that you have this struggle is because you're too nervous to speak. Maybe you're scared of making mistakes. You feel like you're going to be judged, especially if it's a native English speaker. Now, the only way to overcome this fear is by pushing yourself actually speaking. Now, what you can do is you can take speaking classes with a qualified English teacher and they will help you to feel comfortable so that you can push through this fear and start speaking. But the biggest struggle here is overcoming your own anxieties and your own nerves when speaking. And there's nothing really I can say apart from just trying your best to do it, accepting that you will make mistakes. That is OK. Everyone makes mistakes and that's how you progress with your language skills. Great. So let's move on to our last question. Number three. What have we got, Emma? Well, that's great, Alex, but how can I improve if I have no one to practice my speaking with? Yeah, this is so true. You've got lots of learners and they feel like they really want to improve their skills, but they just don't have anyone in their area or their family who they can practice speaking English with. And you think, what do I do? Who can I practice with? Now, the easy answer to this is A, get yourself an English teacher and pay for classes online. I offer those kind of classes, so take class with me. But for a lot of people, this just isn't an option. So how can you practice your speaking skills when you're on your own? So I've got three options here. So first of all, you can practice speaking to yourself. Now, I know this sounds a little bit strange, but trust me, once you start doing it, it sounds OK. So, for example, start narrating everything that you're doing. So you wake up in the morning and you start by speaking and waking up. I'm going to the bathroom, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm washing my hair, I'm making breakfast and just start narrating the tasks that you're doing as you're doing them. Secondly, another way to improve your speaking skills is to record yourself talking. Talk about what you've done during the day and record yourself speaking. Listen to it back and notice if you can hear any mistakes or any irregularities or pronunciation mistakes. This might be difficult at first, but the more you do it, the more used you'll get to self-analyse and record yourself. Now, thirdly, and probably the best piece of advice, I think, to help you improve your speaking skills is by writing. 
Now this might sound strange, how can I improve my speaking skills without actually speaking? But if you think about it, what you need to improve in your, is your thinking in English. Now you can really improve this by writing in English. So keep a diary, and at the end of every day, write down exactly what you've done, what you've learned, what experiences you've had, and try to use the new vocabulary and phrases that you've learned to improve your speaking skills. It's basically the same as speaking, but you're just slowing down what you're saying by writing it. So thanks for joining with those three questions there for together. I hope you found that useful. And if you have any more questions on how to improve your English skills, then please send me a message or drop it in the comments. Anyway, until next time, see you later.